What's going on, Royal Wee family? In this video, we're gonna talk about what happens when you show your strength to the narcissist. What happens when you let the toxic narcissistic bullies know who they're messing with? The fact of the matter is, is there is a hero inside of each and every one of us just waiting to put narcissism in its place. But first, I think we should define what strength looks like when you're dealing with toxic narcissistic bullies. We're a culture that's been raised by tell a vision, and in that we've gained some fantastic, spectacular, explosive ideas of what it looks like to stand up in the face of evil. But how many of you know that that is garbage and it just keeps you stuck in confrontation? And that's not where we wanna stay with toxic people. When you're dealing with toxic situations, narcissists, and bullies, your true strength lies within your resolve. That is your ability to stand firm on what it is that you say. Do you say what you mean, and do you mean what you say? Let me give you an example. When a narcissist creeps up into your life and tries to drag you into their shameful world of debauchery and hate and misery, using simple words like no, stop it, and leave me alone, show strength if you're willing to act on these words, if you stand firm on them. Even if it means you walk away from the relationship, you leave them, you block them, you delete them, you lose all forms of contact and communication with them. That is what shows your resolve. And this is the one thing that narcissists hate. And the reason they hate this so much is because it tells them that they have absolutely no control over you, over the relationship, or over the situation, period. As a result, they go into narcissistic rage and their little world explodes, boom. Now this causes what we call a narcissistic injury. And now it's not over yet. Now we're gonna get into answering the question, what happens when you show this strength to the narcissist. A toxic narcissistic bully will try to creep back into your life at a distance, and this time they're gonna bring with them their friends, family members, cousins, siblings, coworkers, whomever they can get to buy their side. And we're gonna get into why they do this in just a little bit. But it's important for you to understand that these people are gonna come at you, they're gonna accuse you of being mean, selfish, toxic, rude, ignorant, all this stuff. But none of these people know the truth about the situation. Some of them might know half the truth, others might not know any of the truth. It might be one complete lie spun by the narcissist. But all you need to do is stand firm, stand in your resolve, using words like no, stop, leave me alone and act on these words and all their accusations will crumble. Once again, the narcissist will burn with rage and their little world will explode. Boom! The good news after a smear campaign, I know a lot of you are gonna say, Kev, there is no good news about a smear campaign. Ah, but there is. And that's if you're able to maintain your resolve, mean what you say and say what you mean, the narcissist will not come back. And the reason is, is because it's too difficult for them to gain anything out of it. It's more effort than what it's worth. Why would they put forth the effort of getting all these people to rally together against you when they're getting absolutely nothing except no, stop, and leave me alone? They would much rather go off and find other people to mess around with. That's just the way it works. Now, let's talk about why narcissists go into a narcissistic injury and form their smear campaign. I'm gonna give you an example using this ball right here. Now, many of you who are parents and have children, you're gonna understand this example perfectly. Let's say you have a child and they're throwing this ball up against you, nonstop, boom, 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 and you tell them, stop it, I'm doing something. Boom, boom, boom. I asked you to stop, I'm not gonna ask you again. Boom, 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 they just keep going until finally you grab the ball and you take it from them. And what happens? Typically the child loses it, starts crying. The fact that they were hitting you with the ball becomes irrelevant. 
All they know is that they are furious and angry and sad and embittered because you took their ball away. You took their toy away. That's the only focus. That's all they know. All right. Now, as a result, typically a child will go and tell another parent, maybe tell, tell mommy, daddy is being mean. He took my ball away. Now notice they're not going to say I was throwing the ball and I hit him a bunch of times and he took the ball away. No. It's daddy took my ball away or mommy, daddy took my ball away or daddy, mommy took this away from me. That's all they know because that's all that's relevant because they don't have the ability to be self-aware of their own actions and the consequences of their actions. Now, this is why it's so important that parents have a unified front of discipline for their children. This way they can talk with them. Why did they take the ball away? Right? Were you hitting them? Okay, well, you deserve to have the ball taken away for right now, right? Some people don't have that. Some people have parents who are at odds with each other, and so the parent will fly off the handle and say, your dad did what? He took the ball? That's mean. That's terrible. That's selfish. Oh, and start a fight in the family. And what do you think this teaches kids? It teaches kids and children that they don't need to develop the self-awareness. They can get away with doing anything as long as they learn how to get people on their side. This is what you're dealing with with narcissism. This is the arrested development of the childhood that has never formed. They don't care what they've done to you. They don't care about how mean and cruel they act. All they care about, the only thing that's relevant is that you took yourself away. You took the fun away and you're not giving it back. This is what causes the narcissistic rage. This is what causes the narcissistic injury and this is what you're up against and this is what you're wrestling with and you have to stand firm. That's the only way uh, discipline action in this situation works is you stand firm on your boundaries around you until they have no choice but to leave. Hope that this video helps you out in understanding what happens when you show your strength to narcissism. Be sure to subscribe, like, and we'll be here next time with another video right here on The Royal We.